I'm Jen Brand and I am here with Sam Horn. She is known as America's Intrigue Expert and she's also a finalist for the 2012 Woman of Distinction Award from Novo Greater DC. Sam, hi, how are you? I'm doing wonderfully, Jennifer. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Good. So Sam, tell us a little bit about yourself, America's Intrigue Expert. What is that all about? Well, anyone watching this, here's my question to you. What do you care about? Do you care about your business or do you care about a book that you're writing or do you care about a presentation that you're giving or a pitch that you're presenting? Here's my question. Did you know that the success of that depends on its first 60 seconds? Go ahead and explain what you're going to say and watch people's eyebrows. Because if eyebrows are knit or furrowed, they didn't get it. And if they don't get it, you won't get it. You want people's eyebrows to go up. That means they're intrigued. That means they want to know more. That means we just got what we care about in their mental door. That's what I do is I get people intrigued in what we care about. That's, I want to come listen to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, tell us, I know we've um, done the Women of Distinction of War now for a few years. And it's always inspiring to me because I get to see some of the nominations come through. And there are amazing women doing some amazing things here in our area. One of the reasons why you're a finalist this year is not only because you're doing amazing things and, and inspiring and encouraging and empowering other women in our area, but beyond. You speak um, around the country. You have books that are provided online so anyone around the world can read them. Um, where have your journeys taken you? My travels have taken me around the world. I went on a European speaking tour last year. and was in Berlin and London and Amsterdam and Dublin and uh, London and so forth. So when I go someplace, my whole goal is to be a rising tide, raising all boats type of leader. So I always try and provide information that people can use immediately to scale their impact and their influence and their income. Very nice. So one of the reasons uh, why NAVO actually created this Woman of Distinction Award is to, to show that we're doing things in our community and we want to honor and recognize people like you who are doing that. What do you see the value of an organization like NAVO is bringing and, and how does that help other women in the area? You know, thank you. It's I'm a real advocate for NAVO and here's why. Catherine Graham of the Washington Post said, to do what you love and feel that it matters, how could anything be more fun? Well, the only thing that could be more fun is to do what you love, feel that it matters, and do it with colleagues you enjoy and respect. And so NABO provides that opportunity to come together to make meaningful connections and to serve as resources for each other so that we can all serve each other in scaling our impact. So, important question. There may be women watching this video right now who have just started their businesses or sitting on the fence and contemplating, should I take that step? It's a really big risk and I'm not sure. Do I start a business or do I stay in the comfort zone that I'm currently in? What would be your advice or motivation to them? You know, Jennifer, 60 second story, okay? When I work with clients, I always say 60 second story will keep it short. Uh, years ago on January 1st, I was in Hawaii at the North Shore on Oahu. And my friend and I were standing on the beach with our boogie boards and we were looking at this six foot surf coming in and it was like, should we, shouldn't we, should we, shouldn't we. Because see, we go in, we could be turned upside down and inside out and deposited on the beach. Fed to the sharks. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> So, 45 minutes later, we're still standing on the beach going, should we, should we, should we? So we finally decided to go in. Jennifer, I remember as if it were yesterday, being out there in the water, watching a swell coming in, it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And then we catch that wave, and I remember slicing back and forth on the front of it, and this pounds behind us, and we rolled that all the way until we scraped our bellies on the beach. And you know, our epiphany was, is that we could have still been standing on the beach. And so I'm reaching out to people if you've got an idea for a business or if you want to write a book or if you've got services that you think people need that you could offer, don't stand on the beach. Should I, should I, should I, should I, should I go in. You'll never regret starting the idea. You will only regret not starting the idea. Advice. Great advice. Sam, thank you so much for being here with us today, and we look forward to honoring you as a woman of distinction. Thank you so much, Jennifer.